Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick review of the Steam Deck. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 399 bucks. Now that's for 64 gigs of storage. If you want 256 gigs of storage, that's gonna be 529 bucks. And if you want the big boy, 512 gigs of storage, that's gonna be 650 bucks. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. For the display, you got a seven inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1280 by 800. Now, as far as the PPIs, I don't know. You get up to 400 nits brightness and a 60 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the AMD APU. You got 16 gigs of RAM, that's LP DDR5, 64, 256, or 512 gigs of storage. And you do have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now you got dual stereo speakers, you got a 40 watt hour battery. That's gonna give you anywhere between two and eight hours worth of playtime, depending on which kind of games you play. Now you also got a headphone jack and a multifunctional USB type C. All right, so all of that for 399 bucks. Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes, calm down. Okay, first up, let me just say Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Festivus, whatever you're celebrating, I hope you're having a great holiday. Okay, shoes, I need you to scoot, scoot. Now, this one right here, this is the big boy. This is 512 gigs of storage, and this is everything that you're gonna get. Now, at the end of this video, I'm gonna compare this to the One X player and let y'all know exactly which one I like better. Okay, so here's what you get in the box. Let's see. This is gonna be, this should be your chargers. Okay, I need a little unboxing knife. What we got today? Let's go for something big for the holidays. <laughs> we got the Terminator. Let's get in there real quick. Rah. Okay. <laughs> now it's about 10 degrees in New York City, so I do kind of have the sniffles. Okay, this is gonna be your charging cable. Okay, you do have a plug and a USB Type-C. I shoes, respect that for quality. Let's see anything else in here. Just the usual books and shit. Pluck them and follow. Okay, now for the Steam Deck. Let's go ahead and slide this out. Okay. Now, if you bought a 512 gig version, it's gonna come with all these extra accessories, so you do have a nice carrying case, your little Steam logo right there, quality zippers, and a little handle. Let's go ahead and unzip it. Okay. Oh, this is a real nice case. And this is gonna be your Steam Deck. Let's see what else you get and a little microfiber cleaning cloth. Real nice. Okay, now as far as the Steam Deck itself, let's see on the top, you got volume up and down, you got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, there's your vents, USB Type-C charging slot, there's your power button, you got your right, your right button and your right trigger, left button, left trigger. On the back, you have four customizable buttons, Okay, that's another upside to getting the, uh, this over the One X player. Extra buttons, more vents on the bottom. There's a US, uh, micro, micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now on the front, of course you got your menu and your home buttons. Here's your D-pad, your X, Y, A, B buttons. You got your toggles, okay? And you do have two track pads. You got your Steam home button and your quick settings button. Let's go ahead and power this up. Okay, let me put in my pin real quick. Okay, now let's go home and let's take a look at the Steam Home. Okay, matter of fact, let me adjust my camera angle and we'll start off with the desktop version first. Now there's two different ways you can use the Steam Deck. You can put it in desktop mode or you can put it in gaming mode. Here's desktop mode. Basically, it's like using a laptop. Okay, so you have a trackpad, and it is also touchscreen. So let's open up Chrome. Let's go to, uh, let's go home. And we'll go to Amazon. Okay, now you can use this, you can use the thumb if you want on the trackpad, but I prefer using touchscreen. Okay. Now let's go to, uh, let's go to, let's start another page real quick. Let's go to YouTube. Now, using the touch screen is a little bit tricky, so you can use these uh, trackpad if you want. 
Okay, let's open up YouTube. Gotta get the hang of this trackpad. Okay, so here's YouTube. Let's click on the video. Let's see. Um, say you wanna click on Watch Mojo, full screen. Okay? So you can watch your YouTube videos. With the post off? Go crazy. <laughs> Shout out to Newman. <laughs> That's it, pause. Again, everything fully touch screen, and you can use the trackpad if you want. Basically, like having a full size laptop right in the palm of your hands. Now, let's switch it over to gaming mode. All right, so now I put it back in gaming mode, and this is going to be the full Steam OS. Let's, let's go to the store real quick. Now, these are all your games that are available for streaming or downloading. Okay. Check everything out for yourself. Let's exit out of that. Let's go to my library. And here's the games that I already got installed. Okay, so I got some racing games and, of course, all of my fighting games. Let's start off with a little racing. Okay. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. We're going to do a little racing. Okay, that's the interior view. Okay, I like that. Let's get busy up. All right, here we go. I'm already la- I try to take the- I, I, I try to take the easy way. Okay, mate, that was an illegal maneuver. You gotta see- That was an illegal maneuver. I know, my bad, my bad. All right, here we go, here we go. Running nice and smooth. Okay. Oh, I'm off the track. Oh, shoes coming to troll me. Anyway, this is racing right here, though. As you can see. Nice and smooth. Okay, I'm going I'm to just wild out on the next turn. Ah, uh, I'm off to that. Let's go. Pretty smooth, though. Pretty smooth. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do this on purpose here. Off the track. Off the track. I know I went to first place. <laughs> All right, anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to get first place. Are they going to give me a penalty? Anyway, so here's how your racer looks. Real dope. All right, so now let's try a little Street Fighter Five. Okay. Street Fighter Five. Now I'm going to do this in real time so y'all can see the loading speeds. And at any moment, you can press the button for your quick settings. So that's your brightness, your audio, your Bluetooth settings. Okay. Of course, we'll do a little Ryu. Why not? Go beyond the battle. Okay, here we go. D-pad and your buttons. <laughs> okay, now shoes just left, so I can't blame her if I lose. Okay. So we're going to have to just uh, go hard. Hollywood, California for the next Capcom Cup. I'm training for Capcom Cup right now, y'all. All right, let's go. Oh. Oh, he got me. Y'all like that fairy? Y'all like that fairy? Let's go. Uh oh. Fuck out of here. Oh, sorry. Oh, let's go. Ah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Now, it's a little bit, it's a little bit tricky playing this with my arms stretched out like this. Oh, look, she got the banana head. Let's go. Oh, got me. Woo! The bag, it's too cold for my bags. 
Let me ragdoll. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> this is way too much fun. Way too much fun. You win. So this is how it's gonna look like playing Street Fighter. And then if I want to exit, I'll little hit the steam button. Let's go to exit game. And we're out of there just like that. Now I go back to my library. And let's play something else. Now let's try a little Mortal Kombat. All right, so we got Mortal Kombat 11 queued up. Let's take it over to the Classic Towers and we'll try to get busy. Okay, let's see who do I know how to use in this. <laughs> try a little Kodokan. Shout out to everybody that be watching my MK streams. Y'all already know what it is. Excellent loading time. Okay, same as using your PlayStation 4. Now the PS5 does load a lot faster than this. So I'm having a flashback with the loading. Okay, here we go. The sun. <laughs> the world slips away from me. Oppression planted rebellion seeds. My grip will only tighten further, Coulter. This is my second favorite game. Okay. Oh, got me. Back in that corner. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I played around. Gotcha. Mm. Come here. Pizza disc. Oh, ragdoll, ragdoll. Okay, he's finished, he's finished. I just wait, just wait it out with the sun. Just use the sun. Sometimes you gotta use the sun. Now, playing fighting games on a handheld PC is a little bit different because you're used to the controller. Okay, let me see if I can let me see if I can do my one of my classic moves. Oh. oh, he got me. He got me. I'm trying to get fancy. Damn. Gotta get him back in that corner. Oh no. Now I gotta give him a brutal. Come here. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is way too much fun. Like I was saying though, when you play using um, a regular controller, it's a little bit different since this is a little bit wider. And one of the only things that I didn't like about the Steam Deck compared to the One X player, you see the One X player, the D-pad setup is a little bit lower. This one, the D-pad is up so high, you know, it takes a little bit of time to get used to. But let's exit out of this. Let's try another game. So we go to exit game, bang, okay. And let's see what else we got. Let's try a little Killer Instinct. Okay, here we go. Let's try some, uh, my usual, why not? Let's do, uh, let's try somebody different again. Let's try General Ram, why not? Let's take it over to the pinnacle. Now, this is probably my favorite game to play, especially on handheld gaming systems. Okay. Let's get busy, y'all. Uh, what I'm looking like trash. Got it.
Okay. Now it is freezing cold down here. My fingers are a little bit cold. Okay. That's my excuse. Okay. Let me stop playing around. Oh, I got it. Stop it. Right, I'm, 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 I'm gonna give I'm gonna give y'all a stage ultra. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it got me. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. I gotta switch sides. I gotta switch sides. Here it is. Anyway, <laughs> my hands are so cold down here. Killer Instinct. This is way too much fun. All right, so we'll try one more game. We got Mortal Kombat XL. Now, I know somebody's going to say, what about God of War? What about Call of Duty? What about Red Dead Redemption? I don't play those kind of games, so it doesn't make any sense for me to buy them if I'm never going to play them. All right, Shoes? All right, Shoes is trolling me, y'all, so if I lose, it's because of Shoes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Like, like, like she bite my arm. Chill, shoes. All right, now I haven't played this game in a while. Let's see if I still got any combos. Now I will say this: the loading time for Mortal Kombat XL has always been incredibly long. All right, shoes. Look, look at shoes. Look at shoes. Hope y'all having a good holiday. Okay. Gotta find something to talk about with this long ass loading time. Might as well, uh, let me pull out my phone and scroll through Instagram real quick. The loading time for Mortal Kombat XL is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready to get schooled? But the graphics are still dope. Have you to teach me? Pummeling 101. Round one. All right, let's see if I still got any moves. Ah, okay. Almost had it, almost had it. I still got a, I still got a few moves. You know what I'm saying? I still got a little bit. Okay. Nah. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mortal Kombat X. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. All right, so I know the main question everybody wants to know is which one do I like better? The Steam Deck or the One X Play? Now, after using both of them, I got a new favorite, the Steam Deck. Now there is some advantages to having the One X player, but there's also some disadvantages. And the main disadvantage is the price. Now this one starts at 1100 bucks. That's a little TGH, all right? And if you're new to my channel, that means too get damn high, okay? Now this one does have more internal storage. You can get all the way up to one terabyte, but there's no expandable memory on this one. But I will say I do like the button placement a little bit better on the One X player, especially for me playing fighting games. I like to have the D-pad a little bit lower so it works out. As far as display, pretty much exactly the same. But the Steam Deck has better speakers, okay? The Steam Deck actually runs smoother. Now I know on paper it may seem like the processor might be better on the One X player, but I play these both, all, right, all of the same games, and it runs smoother on the Steam Deck. Now, the One X player does have Windows already pre-installed, but if you're a little bit tech savvy, you can install Windows on your Steam Deck, and this way you have access to all your Xbox cloud gaming. So for 1100 bucks, I thought this was dope, but after actually using the Steam Deck, this is a way better buy. Even if you buy the base model with 64 gigs of storage, 
that'll give you <laughs> you might not be able to you might be able to fit maybe you might not even be able to fit a whole game on here buy the 512 gig version that's the one that i'm using right now and you see i got multiple games let's go to storage real quick let's see how much storage i got left on this let's see um let's go to let's go to settings let's see okay let's see storage okay look at this i got 149 gigs left and i already got all of these games already pre-installed okay so let's see now if you bought the 64 gig version yeah you'll only be able to have one game maybe one or two games at max maybe one because Mortal Kombat X is 43 gigs okay shoes how many gigs is white shoes anyway let's get it wrapped <laughs> anyway 1x player like I said a little overpriced oh one more thing I wanted to mention also the battery now I'm playing the same exact games on both I'm getting way better battery with the Steam Deck. Okay, so the Steam Deck is officially my new favorite handheld gaming PC. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Steam Deck a major, major, major go. This is definitely my new favorite handheld gaming PC. And look, even if you buy the big boy version at 650 bucks, that's still half the price of a 1X player, and they do exactly the same things. This is the way to go. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know this where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rope. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock one to beam up. some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck the Beats by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know I'm an animal lover so I like that shit so make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.